I know that y'all consume a, a, a ton of uh, American news because we're right there and we're pretty loud about it. <laughs> so I know y'all y'all saw the mug shot and everything. <laughs> and sure, sure. I, 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 I was fascinated by that day, but not by him, not by Trump. Most fascinating person to me in that whole day, because you know Trump went in, turned himself in, and he had a lot of co-defendants, like 10 plus co-defendants that also had turned themselves in that day, take their mug shot, everything. But the person that I'm the most fascinated by is this dude named Harrison Floyd. Right? Now Harrison Floyd, um, is one of the co-defendants with Trump, and he's the only one out of all those people that did not get a bond agreement, right? He had to sit in jail until he could see a judge. He's also the only one out of all those people that is black. <laughs> I should also point out, he's also the only one out of all those people that allegedly assaulted the FBI agent that tried to serve him his subpoena, all right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically, this dude had to sit in jail because he tried to fight mail, okay? <laughs> so basically, what happens is, FBI show up at the door, try to give him his, uh, his subpoena. He, he went for the FBI agent's gun, all right? <laughs> then he later admitted to police if he had got the gun, he would have shot the FBI agent and killed him. <laughs> he also admitted to police that if he had known it was the FBI at the door, he would have brought his gun and shot him <laughs> and killed him, all right? That's what we like to call a thought, all right? <laughs> What was he thinking? Never in the history of niggadom has a nigga been this dumb. This is the most insane thing I've seen in a long time. He must have forgot he was black. What could possibly be going through your head? That was so insane. It was, it was, so, it was so crazy, it even made me feel bad for Trump for a second. Because how does he not have one single normal black fan? Every time one of his fans that's black makes the news is always going through something, you know? It's terrible. You know, Trump has a reputation as, as a racist, and he always talking about how he's the least racist person you could ever be. I'm, I don't know. After this, I'm inclined to maybe believe him. He'd be hanging out with the black people I would never hang out with. That's... Like, truly, I don't know. This dude like a Statue of Liberty for wayward niggas. This is, this is astounding. He's just standing like, bring me your ashy, your dusty, your dumbass masses. The story was so crazy, I'm not gonna lie, I even felt bad for FBI agent. I never thought I'd say that in my life. I even felt bad for the FBI agent because if somebody goes for your gun for a split second, you got to think they're going for your dick. You got to be like... <laughs> I had a... Um, this popped in my, in my head out of, out of nowhere. I had this this date years ago where we both <laughs> admitted to each other on the date that for both of us, it was our first date in a year. And it was really great. That was such a great thing for us to share because then we both knew in that moment we were about to be trash. <laughs> like this is, <laughs> neither one of us are getting each other's best. We're very rusty. <laughs> And it actually ended up being a great date. Like, it was a great little hangout. We were getting along wonderfully. The vibe was not there, right? We weren't clicking in that way, but we were like, no, this is like, it's just great to spend time with a cool person, you know? And so at the end of the date, 
it was like a nonverbal thing. It was just a thing that we were both thinking. We just went ahead and we gave it a shot. Just one kiss, just to see. Because we've been getting along great for three hours. What if there's a spark, you know? You don't want to miss out on that. And I should mention that she's not just lovely person, wonderful human. She also has the biggest hands of anyone I've ever met in my life. Her, her, hands, her hands were huge, okay? And I'm not coming down on her hands because I don't know if you noticed my hands since I've been up here, but I could use some more manly digits. These are not the hands I would have picked if they had been handing out hands. These are piano fingers at best. I was jealous of her hands the whole day. We went to an arcade and we were playing whack-a-mole and she was using the mallet and her hands. She was like... her, her hands were so strong, she accidentally opened a locked door. <laughs> Bathroom door was locked, somebody was in there. She didn't know, she just twisted it. And we all heard the pop. It was a pop because she broke the lock. That's... She has a locksmith right here. They just pop right and opened it. Ah! Was, oh, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Spent the whole day jealous of those hands. And so we went to kiss, right? And, and as we went to kiss, I felt, I felt something. I felt something up. I felt something up the back of my head. And, it, and, I, was, and I realized it was, it, was, it was her hand. She was cupping the back of my head with her hand. I'd never been cupped before. I didn't even know that was a move people were doing in real life. Like, and if you were far away, it must have looked like she, my whole head fit in her hand. It must look like she was cupping a baby in her hand. And then I could feel this, I could, I could feel this pressure from her kiss that was knocking me off balance a little bit. And that's when I realized, I'm like, wait, this, this bitch trying to dip me. <laughs> I started fighting the dip. I was like, mm, you ain't gonna dip me. You ain't gonna dip me. I'm a man, you ain't gonna dip me. Cause think about it, if we, if we have this kiss and there's a spark and we start going out, you gotta establish parameters early. If you let her dip you on the first kiss, the first time y'all smash, your legs will be in the air, bro. That's just the law, she already established dominance, all right? And so I'm fighting, I'm like, you ain't gonna dip me. Gonna dip me. I ain't going. I'm sure I gave her the worst kiss of her life because my, my core was on fire. So, so I'm sure I was kissing just like. Ur, 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 ur. <laughs> I don't know. In, the, in, the, in those moments of, of the kiss, the kiss. Couldn't have been more than like eight seconds, but a lot was going on, you know what I mean? <laughs> and like, I don't know. In that kiss, I kind of felt, at least what I imagined, like I, I almost feel like I felt like a woman for a second. Cause I was like, you know what I mean? Cause I was like, I was like safe, but in danger. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like she had me, but she might take me. You know? <laughs> 